Good morning, and welcome to another installment of our online children's message. My name is Pierce Fetters, and I head up the family ministries here at the Chicago Temple, and it's so good to have you with me this morning. For this morning's story, we're going to talk about baptism which some of you might not and probably won't remember because in the United Methodist Church, you're baptized when you're very young. But it's a moment when the church and your family come together and make a commitment and make a covenant that they're going to raise you in a Christian environment. So let's see how this took place as the disciples were starting the early church. In this story, we see God speaks to someone who isn't an apostle. Someone who actually the apostles might have been afraid of because he was a soldier in the Roman army and his name was Cornelius. So God spoke to Cornelius and told him to send people to bring the apostle Peter to Caesarea. So Cornelius sent people to get Peter from a town called Joppa, where Peter was staying with a man named Simon the Tanner. Peter took some Jewish believers like himself with him so they could be witnesses and tell people in that area about Jesus. When they got to the house of Cornelius, the family and neighbors of Cornelius were waiting for Peter. They were excited to hear what Peter had to tell them. Now, this may sound like an extraordinary story of how the good news of Jesus was spread from city to city. And yes, that is the case, but this is also a special story. Because remember that Peter and the disciples and the Jewish believers still followed the laws of Moses. And one law was not to have anything to do with people who were not Jewish because they were considered unclean. They lived their lives to a different standard than the Jews. And they were especially told not to hang out with the Roman soldiers because they had invaded their land that once belonged only to the Jewish people. But Cornelius wasn't like most of the Roman soldiers. Cornelius believed in God. Now, he wasn't Jewish, but he worshipped their God. When Peter entered the house of Cornelius, Cornelius bowed down to Peter. Peter immediately said, no, I'm just a man. Don't bow down to me. Then Peter saw all the people who had gathered to greet him, and he was surprised. You know, he said, we Jews don't come to your houses, you who aren't Jewish. But God has shown me that everything created by God is good. So I've come to Caesarea, and here I am in this house. But tell me why you sent for me. Cornelius said, four days ago at three o'clock, I was praying, and God told me to send for you at the house of Simon in Joppa. It was because God had seen the good things I have done for people here. So I did, and here you are. And we are ready to hear what you have to tell us. Peter looked at the people who were eagerly waiting to hear his words, and he told them all about Jesus and how Jesus had told the disciples to witness to people everywhere. Meanwhile, the Jewish believers who had come with Peter were still so surprised at what was happening. Peter ended by saying, and everyone who believes in Jesus can be forgiven by God. At that moment, the Holy Spirit came over Cornelius and his family and neighbors. The Jewish believers from Joppa were amazed at this sight and the sound of them praising God. These people have been given the Holy Spirit. They can be baptized, said Peter. And the people were all baptized. And Peter stayed with them for several days, continuing to teach them and tell them more about Jesus' love. What an amazing story. And it's a good reminder for all of us that we still live in a society where sometimes people are pushed to the outside, where people might be considered unclean or bad. But we need to remember that all who were created by God are good, right? And so we must show everyone love, especially those who are far too often pushed to the side. 
So I hope we remember that and find ways to show love to everyone that we meet. Today, since we're on a bit of a water theme with baptism, I thought it'd be good for us to sing the song, I've Got Peace Like a River. So would you sing with me? I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart And I'm so happy, so very happy I've got the love of Jesus in my heart I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart Down in my heart down in my heart, I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay, and I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy. So very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Yes, I'm so happy, so very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. Thank you for joining me for another installment of our online children's moment. I hope you all have a wonderful week and let me close us out in prayer. Good and loving God, who is God of all creation, Open our hearts to your Holy Spirit as the people in Caesarea did, so that in the radical love of your Son, we might show love and acceptance to all we meet. It's in your Son's name we pray, amen. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.